Hello you all, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Rad from Rad Kotaro and in this whole video we're going to look into Sagittarius week uh, December 28, 2020 up until uh, January 3rd, 2021 and uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me guys uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you're going to see the full list of my services and uh, as well their pricing and also keep in mind that uh, the content for YouTube and Facebook they are different from one another and in Facebook you can find me doing live streams also daily tarot guidance and astrology posts which are made from uh, the astrologers that the astrologer that works with me Pisces Moon being a fantastic one so uh, if you do have questions to astrology you ain't gonna find a better better person to ask them to so uh, the first card here for Aquarius, uh, for uh, Sagittarius, that when they enter into the week is the devil. And as uh, Sagittarius enters into this particular week, they are going to start feeling up like they can accomplish all of their needs, regardless of what those needs are. Either are they in uh, relation to a career or are they in relation to a relationship? People associate... Um, the devil card with sex if now that's your need that is also what is what you can uh, accomplish but the devil at the start of the week it gives you the power to uh, to force the circumstances in a way that you want them to be so this is a a, a a tremendous potential here that we do have to force faithful circumstances once again that will pretty much satiate the hungers of uh, of your soul or of your existence <clears throat> Now, important thing to be acknowledged, it is that the power of the devil is very neutral uh, and the devil only gives you power and it does not point you what you are going to do with it. So that being said, you can use the power of the devil to create or to destroy. That is entirely up to you to make up a decision. In the tarot classes, I'm explaining where this statement is coming from. <clears throat> And it has a lot of sense into it, uh, literally. But you also have the luxury here to deny the power. Um, and uh, in that particular case, uh, you are pretty much going to let the situation develop as it uh, was uh, originally planned, if you will. Because the devil gives you exactly that. The, the impulse, the power, the, um, the luxury, the capability to shape either your career or either your relationship the way you want them to shape them or the way you want them to be are you gonna take advantage of it that is entirely up for you to decide and after that we do have the uh, emperor so based on that power it does look like that you are going to regain a lot of a control in your life and uh, what the emperor here says is that you are going to use that power to resolve certain aspects and certain responsibilities that beforehand was really overwhelming here you are going to use that power to exert consistency structure reliability as well and in generally to undertake the the matters that you have to deal with throughout the entirety of the week in a such a way that you are to face the ups and downs with much more bear than than the other way around so it's it's pretty much those two cards here are pointing that this week is going to be entirely under your control you get to decide what you want to do how you are going to do it and, and in generally of course take a full responsibility of the of these actions moving forward fantastic cards if you are finding yourself working throughout this uh, week of uh, holidays and celebrate uh, and celebrations just they appoint that you will be able to scratch a lot of a um, a lot of tasks or a lot of tasks yeah of the sheet and um, and as well, you're going to present yourself really, really strong, responsible and generally a person of power in front of everybody that stands in front of you. So uh, I would not be surprised if uh, by the start of next year, because the, the uh, reading is up until the 3rd of January 2020, you are to be uh, elected for some kind of a, a promotion or a lot is to be devoted or yeah devoted to you in a sense that you get to decide what you want to do with it or not in terms of a love and and relationship so Sagittarius here you will get to have the call 
whatever the call is, whatever you say goes, but also the failure, should there be one, or the success is gonna be as well yours to bear. So be very careful how you do use that power which is given to you by the devil at the very start of the week, that huge impulse to have the things the way you want them to have because at the end you are gonna be held accountable to the happening that is to take place. Moving next, we do have the Seven of Pentacles and after, uh, after all this uh, initial uh, intoxication, I would say, of seeing that you can do whatever you like throughout the week, we are having you slowing down here with the Seven of Pentacles where you are going to start thinking of what exactly worth your time and what doesn't, what is going to pay off afterwards and what it won't going to pay afterwards after you exert that huge momentum into it what is going to be the point of creation and what is going to be a point of destruction. So we can see here, as Sagittarius, that towards the end of the week, you are going to give yourself a, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but accountability to, uh, to your actions. And you probably are going to avoid the uh, poignant nature of consequences should you abuse the power of the devil here. With the Seven of Pentacles as well, that is a moment where you're going to have a lot of things accomplished by that point. So the very first couple of days, maybe three days of the week, are going to be very crazy for you, very dynamic as well. And it's just a lot of things are going to happen, uh, which you will pretty much going to maintain control over, like I said. And uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you are going to devote yourself to a little bit of a, of a rest to catch up your breath as well, uh, regain uh, the vital energies that you have used, not wasted, but used in order to accomplish that many things. And it's also very possible that you may travel for a day or two amongst nature at that point, so you can even uh, boost that recharge of energies even further. And lastly, at that point, mm, towards the middle of the week, Sagittarius, something quite unexpected may happen, uh, that which is uh, a good by its nature, a good opportunity, good option available and so on and so forth, which is lurking behind the corner. And it's going to be a result of, uh, of all of the control that you're going to maintain for throughout the week. So pretty much that could be the, uh, the um, proposition, not proposition, but Ele election, let's say, for either a promotion, for either to be with someone, and de depending on what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at, at that point, will define what event you are actually going uh, are, is actually going to take place in your life. Next card that we do have that is to be the hermit, and uh, with the hermit, we are seeing that this event is going to be very, very substantial for you. It's going to be something that you are going to pretty much look forward to. It's going to be the event that you will recognize that you have to approach it with a huge portion of, of wisdom and intelligence as well, because you would not want to screw these things around. Now, of course, there could be an emotions involved, right? For example, that could be a point where you do fall in love with somebody. And... Uh, that does not exclude the intelligence and as well the wisdom that you are to approach the situation with. Uh, at that point as well, it's highly likely, Sagittarius, that you may still be in some sort of a seclusion. I'm not talking about is isolation. Okay, I'm talking about seclusion where uh, you are to uh, think about uh, what, what really you want for yourself self in life because that's what the hermit is is related to the light that shines for you at the end of the uh, of the tunnel and is and is all that happening which i talked about at the start of the reading the um circumstances and as well the results that you are provoking with the power of the devil itself here are really the thing that you are striving for and are you not doing it just so you see that you don't need it. Now that's very, very important. So here, <clears throat> even if you are starting to misuse the uh, the huge momentum and the power to uh, force the faithful circumstances you need, even if you do misuse it towards the end of the week, you are to be reminded by some kind of like a 
an uh, unvis invisible force, if you will, that maybe you are not on the right pr on the right track. Should you not be on the right track, but if you are doing it the way you are supposed to do it, I mean, you are contributing for your life, you are satiating all of your hungers, and that does not hurt anybody else. Then you are to be confirmed that you are on the right track here with the hermit. Um, one thing I want to mention here is that as soon as you see what is substantial for you through that event which is just around the corner and is about to happen to you towards the middle of the week, don't be surprised if certain people that, that are close to you, close to you, they do not want to follow you there. That is because uh, the Hermit also is, uh, is referring to um, separating in a sense of that you do separate those that are around you just for the hick and giggles and those that are around you because they believe in you and because they want to see your agenda, not agenda, but your dreams and goals fulfilled. And uh, the last card that we do have, that is the Page of Swords. So towards the end of the week, or at the end of the week, we do have an individual that appears up and how the relationship in between you and that individual is going to form that remains to be seen in the next week after 3rd of uh, January moving forward. But this individual, they are very aggressive in the sense of that they do not find common ground lightly with other individuals, which you in this particular case. That is because they are very original within their thought and they are not doing a very good job in explaining their, their point of view. But uh, in any case, this indiv the appearance of this individual is also going to be an appearance of a very unexpected source of help for you. That individual is going to help you with something, even if that help is a mental help, meaning that you are to be that you are to recognize some kind of a thought, some kind of a vision, or some kind of an idea based on their original thinking. Once again, that individual is going to help you to make the spring cleaning you need of the things you do not need anymore and above everything else, all the people that you don't need anymore in your life. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your a general weekly tarot reading for uh, December 28th to January 3rd, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoyed it and you do liked it, guys, and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.